to my creative world of Bobbish Art. I'm using a Brother um, scanning cut, which allows art patterns to be cut with clean edges. Today our project is creating Easter art. These are the supplies. The scanning cut, of course. The four acrylic colors, which is used for the background. One sheet of the cardstock, clear glue, and remember, don't glue until the paint dries. And any of these packages of clear glue and a cup of water for rinsing our brush and a small sponge. A cup of water, a small sponge, and a palette for your colors if needed. Just remember not to glue the patterns until the paint dries and also Packages of the Easter art patterns can be purchased. Check out the info below. So are you ready? Let's get started. First, we're going to squirt colors that we'll be using on this little palette here. If you don't have a little plastic palette, you could use a paper plate. So just shake a little bit out. Don't need much, just a little squirt. It's probably too much, but we'll use that. We're going to do green, and then we're going to have a light blue, a little light blue. Okay, then a little dark blue. Not much dark blue. Okay, and we're going to squirt some white. White is always nice. We're gonna squirt some white. So let's shake this bottle down so it'll come out quickly and easily. There we go. And some white. So first we're gonna like wet the tip of our sponge. Oops. And, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to shake the camera there. And we're gonna like squeeze it out a little bit. So first we're gonna do our grass. So we're gonna like, since our sponge is wet, this will make the paint glide, you know, not absorb so quickly in the sponge. So first, what I want to do is like, just kind of go like this to get started. And then we're just gonna like, just kind of get your brush to make like little lines, leaving some darker than others, just Brushing, 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 downward strokes. However you want to make your grass, this is how I'm making mine. This is how I'm making my grass for the canvas. And the good thing about it is, you know, doing it like this, you make like different shades of green. You want some dark, you want some light. So, and then you can go back over it, over the top a little bit more. You want to cover all the white paper. You want to go over it a little bit more. Right? And then if you want a little bit more green, then you can like like tap it back in here to get a little bit more darker strokes in there and then kind of go over it and do it like that. Just make it look like, you know, it, your little strands of grass are popping up off the ground. You know, you see some of the, the, the grass pieces, the sharp edges of the grass. So that's what you're creating. Just sharp edges of the grass. Just like that. Just growing everywhere. There you go. So just remember, in doing art is what you see and how you see it. So you're making your picture. Your picture might be different than mine, but it's your picture. So then we're gonna rinse out our brush. Rinse out our brush so we can use another color. And then we want to kind of lightly squeeze it out so we're not putting too much water into our. So, and if I'm going a little bit too fast and you're not keeping up, just stop the video until you catch up and then catch up with us. So now we're going to add a little, I think I'm going to use um, the light blue first. And then we're going to come back and touch it up with the, with the, um, dark blue. So here, oops, still have a little green in my brush. 
in my sponge. And the reason I'm using the sponge is because it makes it go on faster. And I'm just going in little circular motions because we're making a sky. So of course we want our sky to be blue and look like the clouds are moving. So we're gonna like do blue, make the clouds move. And then we're gonna go back and, and swirl it a little bit, you'll see. And of course it doesn't matter, some shades might be a little darker than others. Well, you know, that's the sky. The sky is white, it's dark blue, it's gray. So, you know, having a little green on your, on your brush is okay. Because sometimes when the sun shines, you see all kind of rays of, the, of colors in the sky. So, you can color your picture all the way up to the edge, if you like. But let's move our little pattern pieces out the way. We don't want to paint those yet. So, we're creating the sky, um, however you want, circular motions, swirls, lines, however you want to see the sky, you know? Because the good thing about it is different tones. And then we're gonna come back with um, dark blue and light blue. I mean, in white and lighten it up a little bit, and getting these pieces out of the way. And just remember, you know, my brother's scanning cut is a wonderful tool. It cuts everything out so quickly and so easily. Like I'm trying not to touch the green yet until I get closer to the to the bottom. Oops! It looks like I need another squirt of blue. So, and in the kits. I will have two different types of kits. One with just the pattern pieces, in case you have all your own paints already. And the other will include um, a sponge brush and the color paints that we use for the, um, for the project. So if you want the complete project, which includes the paints um, that are being used and of course, the pattern pieces, then you choose that one. So right now, we're gonna finish this up and uh, and you'll see. It's quick and easy and um, the paint has to dry, as I mentioned before, before we glue any of the pieces on. So while the paint is drying, you can take all your pieces, you can, you know, if you don't have the the pieces that I'm using, then you can like draw them, cut them out, or create whatever pieces you want. If you don't want to purchase mine, create your own pieces. And then we're gonna glue them on the paper. So while this is drying, you can get all your pieces ready to be glued on the paper. Which would be fun. And you're gonna be so amazed at um, how the picture came out, comes out. So I'm trying not to, to um, paint over my stems of grass because I really want my blades of, of green like poking up. And if you wanted to, you could do your blue first. I just told, chose to do my green first, but it doesn't mean you have to do your green first. You can do your blue first and then go back and paint your blue. I mean, do, do your blue first and go back and paint your green. And then of course you won't have like, you know, these, these little um, rays of green coming in your sky, unless you put them there. But, um, oops, I'm using a little water on this so I can finish up with my light blue here. And then I, I wet my sponge brush, right? so that I can um, give my paint a, like a little smoother color. Now with a little, not a whole lot of water, just a tip of water, okay? So don't go soak the whole thing, just let it touch it a little bit so that you smooth out your colors if you want to, you know? So I am, I am smoothing my colors out smoothing my light blue out because and of course I'm on a table and behind my picture my white paper under it 
I have a piece of plastic so that if I paint over the edges, is not getting on the table. So there you go. So now, so now I'm gonna choose to do swirls. That's the good thing about making it wet. Now you can put all kind of movement in your paint. So I did my light blue swirls and I'm gonna rinse my brush out. Well, yeah, I didn't have to because I'm using dark blue mix and that would have been okay with the light blue. So now I'm gonna like um, just come back with like little spots of dark blue, you know, cause you know clouds, they like, now you can see my swirls, even a little bit more. That's my sky, I'm making my sky, cause you can like go over it, under it, you know, just whatever you want to do. And if you want to add a little more white, and it's doing this easily because my brush has a little bit more water in it. And uh, you can do it until you get the, I'm just going in little circles. So you can see the, the clouds in the sky. So I'm just going in little circles little circles or you can do little seeds you can do a lot like I've done a lot or you can do just a little bit you know and then I'm just gonna like barely touch my blue just so I can get like some darker little little spots in here on these swirls just a little darker and so that the whole thing is not darker and not all the same colors and that's what we were using our white for too but it looks like I, I may not use my white because I did my light blue so light that uh, I'm not sure I need to use my white. So there we are. So I'll see you in an hour just as soon as our picture's dry. Okay? Be right back. Okay, welcome back. Now that the picture's dry, now it's time for us to glue our pieces on our paper. So you can stick, of course, I'm sure you probably already stuck your paintbrush, your sponge in the water. Let it sit there a little bit so that all the paint can come out of it. And then we're gonna go rinse that out at the end. So here we are, here's our picture. And now let's see our first item we're gonna place on our little cardstock canvas is gonna be our basket. Where do we want this basket? And there's two pieces. So we're going to place this orangey piece, um, which makes the basket pop and make it look like something's in it, right there, just above the grass, just in the grass, right? Because we want to give our butterfly, we have roses, we want to give our butterfly a little room, we have our roses. And this one is double layered, like this one's totally green. So I, and then I just cut out a rose, right? So now, and I want this one kind of layered. So you can see that there's, it's two-tone. See, it's green and then it has like a little shadow in the back, which is cool. And we're gonna place our butterfly right here. So I'm putting this down, a few pieces down before I start gluing. So, Again, remember, your art is your art. So just because mine look like this, doesn't mean yours has to look exactly like mine. You're creating your art. Just always remember that. So we're gonna place our butterfly right here. And just like I did that rose, I'm gonna like shadow my butterfly a little bit so that you can see, make it look like two tones. A little shading right there, right? So I'm gonna glue this down Shade that right there. I'm gonna put these just a wee bit closer together. Right, just like that. And then my butterfly needs a center. It needs a body. So I'm giving my butterfly a body. I'm giving it a body. And then I have a little face on here somewhere. I guess I'll find, for the butterfly. I guess I'll find it in a minute. It's a little, oh, here it is. Found it. So here's a little pink face. 
that I'm going to glue on. So there we are. There's the butterfly. Now, before I put any of those other little pieces, I have another rose. So I want another rose in my garden. So we're gonna put another rose in my garden. So I'm gonna put the rose right here in my garden. My rose. This time, this one does not have a red topping, but not on it. Like the red topping is separate, but the other one had a green. This one only has the red. So, and here are some little blooming, we're gonna pretend they're tulips, that we're gonna place like right above here in our grass so we can have like really pretty colors going on here in our grass. What do you think? Yeah, I, I want the blue away from the basket because that's blue, this is blue. So I think that's kind of cool. I think I'll move my blue here and I'll put my white because it stands out a little more. I'll put them just like that, okay? So, and these are called little peanuts. So I'm using these little peanuts to like, to make it look like my flowers, my little, V's here are flowers. How about that? Let's put a blue here. Let's put a orange on the blue. Let's put a blue on the white. And let's put another blue. Let's see. Let's put another blue on the on the blue. That looks good. That looks a little creative. Let's put a little orange right here. And final one, let's put the green right there. Oops, wait, there's one more missing. I need another one. So let's put the green right there. Okay, that one has the same colors on it, which is cool. You can kind of mix and match however you want to do it. And then I have like some long green grass stems that I kind of wanted to put here just to give it a, another color tone in there. And it doesn't matter if it's on the basket, under the basket, however you want to put it. I like mine like touching each other on top of each other. So that's cool. That's really cool. So now here's the fun part. Here's an egg. That is, oops, that we're gonna put right here. And then we're gonna turn it a little bit because eventually, after everything's dry, then I'm gonna go back and paint me a little chick popping out of that one. So then I have two more eggs. I'm gonna put an egg in my basket, or maybe two. Two eggs in my basket. Oh, since that one's yellow, let's move this one. It's not quite glued glued down yet. So I'm going to put two eggs in my basket. So egg in my basket. Oops. There we go. Let's put an egg in my basket. There we are. So last egg. And then we're finished. So this is the one that we're gonna do with the chick popping out since I moved the green one. So after all this is dried, then I'm gonna come back and, yeah, see the cut of this particular one? I'm gonna come back. It doesn't have to be cut like that, but then draw Easter egg in there. So there you are. What a beautiful Easter creation. So I hope you, all you uh, Bobby Jart fans enjoyed creating this picture. Please, if you like me, like me. That would be great. Uh, if you want to follow me, that'd be great. Um, just to prepare you for the next one, the next picture we make will be an aquarium. So please follow me.
I hope you had fun. And also, if there's some favorite art that you'd like to create, um, like a little design, like instead of butterflies, do dragons or do cars or trucks or maybe, uh, you know, paper dolls or dresses. Just, you know, if you can't send me a message, get your parents to send me a message and we can create that too. And I can also create the packages. So whatever art collection we're working on, I can create the package so that you can purchase the pieces. So, I hope to see you soon. Thanks.